sea turtles are really symbolic of what's happening to the ocean as a whole. As go sea turtles, so go and will go the ocean. To know that the oceans are a place that is full of life is very important. I think it is true that all life is sacred, and I think it's also true that we all rely on other living things. Sea turtles are ambassadors for the sea. Through them, we can really see their realm. They are creatures wedded to the part of the planet that is the cornerstone of life support for all of the planet. When dinosaurs walked the earth, turtles plied the oceans. They are as old as history itself and they have remained virtually unchanged throughout millennia. Through the era of volcanoes and earthquakes, past the coming of the Ice Age, and into modern human history, sea turtles have traversed the seas on an endless journey, a nomadic voyage through time. Less than a century ago, sea turtles abounded throughout the world's oceans in vast numbers. Today, all seven species are in danger of disappearing forever. Yet among all sea turtles, a single species stands alone, the leatherback, a symbol of all its kind, perched precariously on the road to oblivion, a road paved by human ignorance and apathy. It is the largest of all sea turtles, and less than 50 years ago, was thriving in the world's oceans. Today, the leatherback is but a shadow of its former glory, and unless concern for its survival converts into action, these magnificent creatures will forever be lost. Like their cousins on land, sea turtles are cold-blooded reptiles. Yet, unlike their land cousins, sea turtle legs have evolved over millennia into long, graceful flippers that allow them to propel rapidly through the oceans. They can travel long distances in relatively short periods of time, rising to the surface occasionally only to replenish their lungs with oxygen. To protect them from predators, all but one species of sea turtle evolved a bony outer shell, the shape and color of which differ markedly among all species. This shell represents one of the most effective armaments of any vertebrate that has ever lived. But for the short sojourns by the females to nesting beaches for egg laying, sea turtles spend their entire lives in the water which accounts for how little we know of their lives and natural history. Only now, as they are fast disappearing, are we beginning to unravel their mysteries. The ancestors of sea turtles were inhabitants of the land. Then, over 150 million years ago, they returned to the sea. Today's sea turtles evolved from gigantic ancestors like Archelon. 
which plied the oceans during the Cretaceous period, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. They are the gentlest of creatures, ancient in geological and mythological terms as well, for they are revered in many indigenous cultures as a symbol of creation, longevity, and wisdom. They possess remarkable navigational skills, skills which remain a mystery to us. They engage in long migrations, thousands of miles, and yet are able to return at just the right time to the beach of their birth, where just offshore, the males and females mate to move their genetic code into the future. The pregnant females haul onto the beach to bury their eggs above the high tide line. And six to 12 weeks later, another generation of turtles makes its way to the open sea to engage in the long, desperate struggle for survival. A struggle most of the hatchlings will lose. Sea turtles have been called the ocean's canary in the coal mine, for they warn us of threats to the health of our oceans. As go sea turtles, so go our oceans. Unfortunately, populations of sea turtles are facing grave new threats to their continued existence. Threats that will drive many marine species to the brink of extinction. If we lose sea turtles, we will lose a magnificent part of our world. The hawksbill, named for its hawk-like beak, is best recognized by its beautiful shell. Unfortunately, this same shell has fueled an international demand for hawksbill tortoiseshell jewelry. The loggerhead, named for its large head, used to crush shellfish, undertakes one of the longest and most complex migration of all sea turtles, from Mexican waters to Japan. Among the seven species, the green sea turtle is the one many of us are most familiar with. Named for its body fat, green from its predominant diet of algae. This turtle plies the seagrass beds, rocky shorelines, and coral reefs of tropical and subtropical waters. Once considered the most endangered of all sea turtles is the Kemp's Ridley. Their nesting beaches had remained a mystery until 1947, when a Mexican architect filmed over 40,000 females nesting on two proximate beaches in Mexico. The event, called an Arabada, can only be burned in our memory from this old footage. For nearly 60 years after it was shot, less than 4,000 returned to these beaches to breed. If the plight of all sea turtles could be epitomized by one species, it would be the leatherback. Among sea turtles, leatherbacks are the most unique. At up to eight feet in length and weighing up to 2,000 pounds, they are Earth's largest living reptile, dwarfing all other sea turtles, and yet we know practically nothing of their natural history. Only now, with the advent of satellite tracking, are we getting a glimpse of their lives at sea, and it may not be at all as random as we once thought. The leatherbacks really are amazing creatures. They're the largest sea turtles uh, the oldest in terms of their evolutionary history. Uh, they dive deeper and uh, range over a larger part of the ocean uh, than any other organism that we're aware of. They've really been successful for perhaps a hundred million years and in the past 50 to 100 have seen big threats to their extinction. The leatherbacks, apart from the other sea turtles, 
have the potential for just capturing the imagination of people and to be, in a sense, that kind of creature with charisma and the power to focus attention on what's happening to the sea. For many years, they have been the most abundant sea turtle in the Pacific, but that has changed.